Have you ever wanted to admit defeat? Well, here I am again, and I got soap for water. Ah! <laughs> so, I'm gonna keep chipping away at it. Let's see what we're gonna try this time. I'm gonna end up adding another valve so that I have an easier way to drain some of the water out of that tank. And I'm going to do it in such a way that every time I open this up, I know where the water level is in the tank. So I've got a couple pieces to glue together here, and then we're going to head out to the pump house and install them and go from there. So right now on top of the tank, I've got a pipe that sticks up with a valve on it. I'm going to extend some pieces so that there's an actual U that goes down. So that way when I open this up, I don't have to worry about debris falling in it. If the only opening is facing towards the ground, there's no way dirt can get up into it. And then I've got an additional valve that I'm going to add. So I just want to do a starter by adding two pieces onto it. So the first thing I need to do is cut a couple of sections of pipe. And I just want them to be uniform. So I think I'm going to probably go with four inches. Eight inches and twelve inches. And I'm going to go back to my homemade uh, cutoff wheel. Again, I'm just going to cut this. <laughs> okay, I've cut three pieces about the same length. Just going to clean up some of the burrs, make it easier for the pieces to go together. Here we go. There's going to be our three pieces. And I'm going to use this on the other end. Just to plug up the hole so no bugs or anything get in there. Now I need to cut a piece to join these two together. And I'm going to clean this up the same way I did the last ones. Give it a quick test fit. I think we're good to go on that. Now let's go out to the pump house and put all this stuff together. Okay, let's start by taking care of this piece at the top. I want to use this to let air come in. So I'm going to glue these pieces right here. And like I said, that'll keep anything from getting into it. We'll shake up our glue and get these pieces put together by putting glue on both the insides and the outsides of the joint. I want to be able to open that valve on top of the tank and let air into the tank and I don't want to get dirt and debris in it. So that's the purpose of these pieces on top of the tank. I'm going to take this pressure relief valve and plug it up to make sure there's no way that any air can be getting out there. And I have got a little plug that's the right size. And I'm going to need to put Teflon tape around it. Do like we always do. We go with the direction of the threads. Get this all loosened up. Okay, I'm going to put it with all my other spare parts. Let's get screwed into its place. This port was an add-on for other accessories, which I never purchased. But I'm trying to eliminate any possible places that air might be able to escape. And this just is one of them. Okay, I can't picture that leaking any water or air out. So what I'm after is ensuring that there's a pocket of air inside of this tank. And I'm going to do that by opening up this valve, which could let air in. And I'm going to chop this pipe and put a place for water to come out and go to the drain. So if I do that, that means this much of the tank will have air in it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut this pipe and I am going to put a T and a valve in it. So this is the valve I was talking about that we're going to be able to let the water out and that's going to drop the water level in that aerator tank. I'll need to cut a few pieces so it drains into the drain. You can see I've got it marked where we're going to make the cut to be able to fit it into place. We're going to end up getting some water everywhere when we cut this.
that mist is all water. I will probably remove about two inches of that pipe and that'll give me the room I need to install the T. So we will get plenty of glue on the outside of these pipes and plenty of glue on the inside of the T. I'll slide it down on one and slide it up on the other. And we're gonna wiggle it back and forth a little bit to make sure that glue's even and put it off to the side. Once you have the glue on and the pieces have been pushed together, you only have a few seconds before you're not gonna be able to move them anymore. Now we need to glue this pipe here. This piece will finish taking the water to the drain once that valve is opened. Put glue. And now everything's going to the drain. All right, I'm sorry if I repeat any of the information over again, but it's been a few days and I'm at the pump house and I'm gonna show you how I ensure there's a pocket of air in that tank. So I've got one goal and one assumption. The goal is to keep air in this portion of the tank so that way it gets agitated and the sulfur gases come out. And my theory is that this device has gone bad and that it is allowing air to get out, filling up with water and therefore not agitating and therefore I got sulfur gases. So this is the float valve I keep talking about that I think is bad. So let's see how this works. So the water comes out of the well and then goes up to the aerator. This will turn the water off. Now there's no flow of water to the aerator. And this is water that goes to the house. By closing this off, now there's no water that goes to the house. So I have turned the system off. Now this is the valve that lets water out of the system. And that's where the water dumps. And here's our aerator and the valve we've got on top. And if I turn this and open it and pull this off, air goes into the system and it comes out. And you can see how much water's coming out. All of that air came in and filled this portion up with air. And when I'm done, I just do it in reverse. I close this valve off. I close this valve off. And once again, you can see all the water. That water represents a space of air that's inside of my aerator tank. And I can turn the water pressure back on. This is from the well, and then we turn the water going back to the house. So that's my cheat. Anytime I got sulfur smell in the house, I can come out here, do that procedure, ensure there's air inside of the aerator, and when the water comes in, I know it's gonna get splashed around and the sulfur gases are gonna go out. And if my theory is correct, I need to buy a new one of these and put it inside. And this, I think, is my problem. Well, that's it. Another stab at the ever-ending sulfur water. As I was talking to my wife about it, the only thing I can think is that possibly I ended up with a bad float valve and ordered another one, and it was bad also, so I just replaced two in a row that are bad. Um, don't know. <laughs> that's why I'm always at with that sulfur smell, is I don't know. Well, anyway, like, subscribe, check out the playlist, and I'll see you in the next video.